Greetings, Supervisor. How utterly acceptable it is to see you again. Your citizens have been truly waiting with much anticipation to experience your remarkable leadership once again. I hope you will be able to show these fine alien folks how truly unhorrendous at Startopia you are. I await your inevitable triumph with bated breath. What do you think? Decent vowel impression? I don't know. I've been workshopping that this week. We'll, we'll see how it goes. How's it going, everybody? My name is Parallax Abstraction, and welcome back to Retro Flashback Play Startopia. So, last time we uh, got a little bit of an extended tutorial, which is really what the first mission is with the Grulian Workers Party, and now we are off to work with the Grey Council. Totally different kind of kind of ball of wax this time, I'm sure. So, let's see what we got. Alright. Congratulations on your new post. Well, thank the you, Val. The Grulian Workers Party were very pleased, and so am I. After all, I deserve some of the credit for your previous success. I should now think. Now the Grey Council wish to set up a space hospital within this sector. Space and it is for this hospital. Reason they've called upon you. You have signed the contract that the Greys insist upon. However, I have checked the microprint, and there are two clauses you must stick to. First, you must cure at least a hundred patients. Okay. Secondly, you must keep the mortality rate ten or less. Okay, so we got to cure a hundred patients and keep the mortality well, rate at ten or less. Before the hospital can be fully constructed, you must build the initial facilities. As before, hard plan and technology crates have been provided. All right, well let's get to it, shall we? Drop our collector in here. We'll drop it there for now. Skazers, where are you at, Skazers? Sorry, guys. Efficiency here. We're on the clock after all, don't you know? Get me some energy. Really wish I... I wish things like this actually existed, where I could just build a big dish on the roof of my house and just collect energy out of the air. That would be so great. Oh, wow, we got all kinds of toys You'll now. note a port, droid charger, and power booster have been delivered, along with technology plans to allow the construction of sick bays. Medical supplies have also been provided. Those unblinking fellows, the Greys, have wow, been yeah. frugal with the energy they've given it's you. It's true. We Make only got 40k here. Count. That's fine. Uh, so this is the port, so this is the entryway. So let's put this up here out of the way, and we'll put the... The droid charger up here. Put that right there. The scuzzers will build it more quickly. And the power booster. I actually don't remember what power boosters do, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, so that's medical supplies. So let's pick that up for now. Get it out the way. We'll drop the sick bay right in here. Oops. The sick bay has been added to your build menu. This should make things easier. I'd advise not spending all your energy on building a huge sick bay. Start small and wait till more patients come aboard before you expand. Yes, once point. you finish building your first sick bay, we can expect patients to begin coming aboard. Remember, only a weak-minded fool spends all their energy on their first sick bay. Keep some aside for expanding later on. Yes, Val. God, your friggin' uh, monocle's falling off there. All right, so let's start small. Uh, so let's say that's probably more than enough, eh? All right, so we'll drop some diagnosis units up in here. Yes, game, I'm aware I have no doors. So let's put a door over here. Let's put a door there, and we'll put some waiting couches along the wall here. And we'll put an image projector actually against this wall so that the doctors can be entertained too, because I mean, that's important. You know, the doctors, they need to be entertained as well. All right, that should do it. All right, scuzzer fools, get to work. You cannot beam that up. Oh, wow. Look at the... Wow, look at the stats on this guy. 
Oh, can I not hire yet? I guess I can't hire yet because the sick bay hasn't actually been constructed. Because, man, I want that guy on my team. Jeez. He is, uh, he is stacked skill-wise. And we are facilitized. We. Our friends the Greys have delivered a berth, Lavatron, and Dynamax. These can be used by your new staff and patients. Oh, okay. These guys are already my employees. That's why. I'm not being That's that right. Up. That's what the symbol means, is that they're already your employees. So, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's build. Um, whoop. Okay. Well, that's, I am aware. But the thing is, the visitors are bored, but... Am I the only one who doesn't see my uh, any hard plans? Rays expect you to cure 100 patients. Additionally, you must not let more than 10 die. This forms part of your contract, and the Greys are sticklers for such things. Uh huh. But ah, wait, corridor items. Or wait, no, hard plan items. Yes, here we go. So let's drop a dynamat up here. And uh, let's get um, definitely gonna need actually let's get the birth up first. You have cured your first patient. Not being alive, I can only guess how good it feels. Aww. You want a little sympathy there, Val? You have run out of a type of cargo. Medical supplies. So they've all been used, I guess. Well... That's a bit of a thing, isn't it? So, let's put an image projector up here. Let's put two, actually. We'll put a chronometer in the middle. And we'll get a door here. Let's get that going, and then we'll drop a Lavatron. Uh, that's a little further away than I wanted, so we'll put it down here. Okay. Get to it, scuzzers. Scuzz away! How you doing, bud? Which I was extremely unwell, so you could look after me here. Uh huh. Creepy. Um. Litter bin. I'm not sure what a dispenser does. Um. I think I'm gonna take the recycler. Although I applaud your skill at fitting so much into a small area, it yeah, I'm way ahead of you there, bro. And into an adjacent segment, I recommend you purchase and install a comm sensor. This will give you advance Ooh. warning of emergency situations and influx. Good call. Oh, and the next segment's free. Well, you didn't mention that to me. I probably should have actually bought more from the trader because now that's the little thing it doesn't tell you is you have to I wait. You, purchase and uh, a comm you have to wait for the uh, the guy to come back before you can buy more. So unfortunately, I didn't actually buy a comm sensor, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. But oh well. So we'll uh, I'll have to wait for him to come back, but we'll uh, we'll work on that. Up to four patients now. We're doing okay. We'll get ourselves a second sick bay built shortly. All right. So we're digging away here. The Greys expect you to cure 100 patients. Yes, I'm aware Additionally, of that. you must not let more than 10 die. Five patients. This, Hooray. The Greys have health inspectors who may visit at any time Ooh. without warning. Oh, right. People okay. People can close the hospital down if they find that hygiene uh. levels are too low. Be aware. I will. Brains are so inefficient as data storage devices. You are in danger of forgetting that you need to hire salt. I'm aware I need salt hogs. I'm aware of that, Val. Not an idiot. God. Uh, 
I forget how many it actually needs, though. Is it three? It doesn't actually say, does it? Doctors, unlike myself, are not perfect. You should check the skill levels of those you hire. Poorly trained doctor is as dangerous as a Carisian proximity mark. I'm gonna guess that's pretty dangerous. I believe we need... Is it three salt hogs? That we uh, need... I guess I do need more doctors, don't I? Because I don't actually have enough. He's probably okay. Ah, he's back. How are you? I'm doing well. You're making a success at the illness game, I see. Fancy a glass of mucus wine, nouveau? No. 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 Actually, we're not drinking either. Probably wise. Uh, comm sensor, yes. And mineral ores, I don't think we need. I don't know what... The dispenser, I want to say, is something for the, uh... The, the sick bay. I think it's like a drug thing. Alright, let's get that out. Or is it just another... Oh, is this just another, uh... Uh, yes, your comm sensor is up, but you must hire a TARG to run it. Otherwise, it's, uh, how should I put this? Useless. Okay, it's just one TARG I need, yeah? Alright, how are you? Eh, you're relatively low skill, but you're probably good enough. Uh, how are you? You are useless as a doctor. Inspectors have arrived. If the hospital facility is still dirty by the time they leave, we are in serious trouble. Hospital facility's not dirty. Thank you very much. It's quite nice, if I do say so myself. So yeah, this is a different type of... This is not the standard diagnostic unit. Yeah, that's a dispensary, so I'm, I'm guessing that's somewhat useful. You guys are terrible as doctors. Uh, I do need to hire a tar... Or no, I did hire one already, I guess. He's just busy. So... Uh, is there anything else we can build? Not in particular at this time. I do need another doctor, but the kind of only other gray that's wandering around is pretty weak sauce in the skills department, which is probably dangerous. Your cured patients will want rest and recuperation. How about providing accommodation and entertainment for them? Well, I don't have any Your entertainment. Will also benefit from having something to take their mind off work. It might even make them more efficient. The Grey Council has provided suitable technology for you to build rest oh, and Oh, well, here we go. Facilities. Okay. Just unpack the crates to add the hard plans to your build menu. All right, then. Uh, wait. Unpack the crates? Uh, oh, these crates that I couldn't really see. All right. Oh, and we got something from the comm sensor coming in. There is a solar flare in progress. Shall I reconfigure the collector to gather some solar energy? Yes. Do you want something useful? I have quite a bit of hospital stuff here that, uh, fell off the I forget that, uh, yeah, during events like solar flares, you can actually get, like, a boon for energy, which is really handy. Uh, mineral ores, scuzzers. I could use another scuzzer. Sorry about that weird, like, repetitive menu noise, guys. It seems to be a bug in the GOG version of the game. Ah, the pleasure deck! Although many facilities must be built on the correct deck, certain ones can be placed on either level. Ah, yes. The Dynamat and Lavatron being examples of this. Use the navigation interface to switch between decks. The health inspectors are impressed with the extreme cleanliness Good. of the Ooh, 10,000 E. 10,000 energy for your efforts. I, too, must offer hearty congratulations. I feel I helped a great deal. Yeah, the I'm sure you do. The alien race has come aboard. They are the sirens. When I saw them, I felt a strange sirens. tightening of some of my metal parts. This could be a metal Oh, yes, the sirens. Just thinking about this. We're rebooting. Yeah. So the pleasure deck is up here, I think. Yes. 
So people can teleport sort of wherever they want up here, so... Uh... Actually, no, let's not build a star motel yet. Let's build a music shop. You know, stores. Physical stores where people go to buy music. Because that's totally a thing that happens in the future. Right? <coughs> people buying music in stores? To totally, right? I mean... Yeah. Anyway, okay. So let's go... Um, Okay, general store, music shop, and the Star Motel. So this will give people some entertainment. And... Alright, so let's go back down here. Now we need, uh... We need more salt hogs, I do believe. That guy's not very skilled, but he should be good enough. I really need better skilled doctors. I don't have enough. We're only at 12 patients cured, because we don't have enough real skilled labor in the doctor. At least three. That'll be all right, I guess. There is a solar flare in progress. Shall I reconfigure? Yes, the another solar flare. Solar energy. Absolutely. Oh, she's back. Do you want something useful? I have quite a bit of hospital stuff here. Yeah, the only thing that's kind of annoying is when the trader reappears. He tends to say the same things a lot, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, power booster. I don't actually remember what the power boosters do. I don't think it ever went o went over that, did it? Uh, let's say... So I actually can't build a Lavatron or another uh, anything else down here. Here's the stores. The hospital is expecting eight aliens with food poisoning. Be ready to treat them, Supervisor. Indeed. So as you can see here, people can sort of beam between decks sort of of their own accord. Um, which is which is quite handy. So yeah, we have a pile of people Supervisor, coming why not in here. help your SCSA droids by beaming up rubbish and junk and dropping it directly into the recycler? Or is such a menial task below you? <sighs> it's not, Val, but I got stuff to do. God. Got people to cure. There's pandemics and such a foot. In case you haven't noticed. Jeez. So tricky. Uh, let's drop another image projector or two in here. Keep people entertained, yeah? Up to 17, we're doing pretty well. I forget what these, what the sirens do. I believe you um, hire them to uh, run some of your entertainment facilities. Oh, geez. I really wish I could build a, uh, a waste system up here. I don't remember if scuzzers actually go between floors automatically. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, well, yeah, they have to because they built stuff, didn't they? Derp. So I guess I just need more of them or I need to uh, do manual waste pickup a little more often or just beam them between floors more often, which is kind of unfortunate. Inspectors have arrived. If the hospital facility is still dirty by the time they leave, we are in serious It's trouble. not really dirty. I'm managing. Oh, that doctor is real sick already. The number of cured patients is now crazy. This guy is pretty exactly skilled. How things should be. Oh, oh thank you, Val. Nice hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah, the love I'm nest. Oh, look after me here. The love nest. Stop giving cargo. We don't need cargo at this at this time. We're not de dealing with cargo facility stuff. We need to be able to. Uh, we need to be able to get stuff. Uh, we need to be able to get more facilities. So yeah, the Love Nest. This is a uh, planned facility, um, which is uh, run by sirens. It's um, totally not a totally not space prostitution. No, no, not 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 at all. With your love chairs and your love waiting seats and your image projector that display 
stuff that's totally not space porn in any way. Ahem. Nope. Not at all. Oh, dear. But you know what? Hey. It's a hard life in space. You gotta... Get them ends where you can, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. There is a solar flare in progress. Shall I reconfigure the collector to gather some solar energy? I I have to admit, I'm not a hundred... Actually, I don't think every... I keep clicking on the solar flare. I was about to say it's annoying how you have to hear Val repeat himself every time there's a solar flare. But to be fair, I don't think you actually have to do that. I think uh, you can just not click on it. Uh, and you still get the effect. As you can see here, during a solar flare, stuff goes up crazy fast. Uh, and I believe you can take be better advantage of that if you have multiple collectors, it will go up faster. 10,000 E, yes, 10, I will take that. Unfortunately, I don't think I can build another one, can I? No, because I, I don't have the actual hard plans, I just built with the items. Which is kind of a bummer. So I believe I can hire you to... Eight aliens with a contagious disease are expected any minute. Prepare yourself. Okie doke. Um, I need... Hmm. I do believe I need to hire, uh... Yeah, I need to hire sirens in order to man the, the love has ended. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna. Ha I think I'm gonna uh, have to build another sick base. Don't start living a health industry. Always move. People are always gonna be sick. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can actually, um, let's get a litter bin. It doesn't look like I can actually build another sick bay right now because I don't have the hard plan. Let's put a litter bin right there. You have cured all the poisoned banquet guests. Nice job. Well wow! Bonus of 15,000 energy. You and I deserve it. Yeah, we got some friggin' fat rewards off that. So I guess we gotta hire another one of these duders to run the, uh... The new comm sensor. Uh... Actually, the sick one seems to be the most skilled. Ooh, no, that, well, that guy's not super skilled, but his dedication is hardcore. Go get yourself cured and then you can... Then you can come, uh, to my facility. I also do love that this is a total space capitalist society. You notice I get energy every time I cure patients. So yeah, it's totally. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we will help cure you of that horrible disease you have, but it's gonna cost you. Health ain't free, you know. It's like America. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm Canadian. We don't have to pay for health care. Uh. It's annoying because I can't, I don't have the hard plan necessary to build another, um, facility, or to build another sick bay, which I kind of like to do at this point, because volume's getting a little chaotic. But... Excuse me, but someone has just died. Uh-oh. This is a first for your hospital. Still, you have to expect these things. Yeah, so, and yeah, when someone dies, they get reclaimed for the greater good. <laughs> oh, that's a little morbid, but uh, yeah, when people die, you just pick them up and drop them into your recycler, and if I recall, you have to do that fairly quick or other people will get died. sick. You organic beings feel loss and grief, but I am merely concerned that the mortality rate is rising. Yeah. It is, if I recall, pretty much impossible to finish this mission with nobody dying, so... We're not, uh, you know, in imminent failure or nothing here. Alright, my, my love nest is, is... There may not be a lot of skilled guys here, but my love nest is not doing well, so it's time to get some people working. 
which I was extremely unwell, so you could look after me here. Yeah, still nothing of real use working there. Alright, I'm just gonna get a couple of people that I can lost find. Lost the With three dead, you could be heading for the Vital 10, which would see your facility closed. I understand, but I don't have a lot of capacity and don't have the means to build... Oh, wait, I do have the means to build another sick bay. Because, you see, this is what happens when I don't bloody pay attention. So... There is a solar flare in progress. Oh, no, actually, when the solar flare happens... Wow, that's annoying. When the solar flare happens, you actually do have to tell Val uh, to reconfigure the facility for it. That's a real bummer. Why can't I stretch this out? Okay, it looks like that's as far as we can go, so, alright. Sorry guys, I really thought I was able to, uh, I couldn't build another sick bay, but this is what happens when I don't pay attention, so. Uh, we're gonna drop an image projector there, we'll drop a chronometer there. Your room has no doors. You must place some before you can build it. You are right. Now the room has doors. All right, scuzzers, get to Warning. it. Warning: eight beings with blastocephalus are incoming. Blastocephalus? Oh, cephalus. Sorry. All right. Get to it, scuzzers. Come on. The inspectors have arrived. If the hospital facility is still dirty by the time they leave, we are in. I definitely trouble. have to hire some more doctors. The solar flare has ended. Uh, it is kind of frustrating that I'm going to have to click on Val every time uh, there is a solar flare, because that he does repeat himself. He only has one line of dialogue for when that happens, and that, that can get old pretty fast, I have to admit. So yeah, there's the uh, totally not space prostitution thing that happens. All right, that guy's doing well. Uh, I'm gonna have to do litter pickup because my scuzzers are just too slow. Picking up trash can sometimes be very fidgety, I find, as you can see here. It's a little bit of a... Getting it to land where you want is sometimes a bit of a trick. Oh, another scuzzer, yes. We definitely need more scuzzers. So they were not, uh, they were, they, they, that was an acceptable response, not a, uh, good job. But that's because my scuzzers were busy building this other facility, so... So you can see here, even though you uh, each facility has a minimum number of staff required to run it, it can actually be to your advantage to overhire um, for some guys. Wow, this guy is hardcore. Uh, it can be to your benefit to overhire because uh, they will not stay at every facility indefinitely, right? They'll want to go get some sleep or go do stuff on their off hours or whatever. So if you want to keep a facility manned around the clock, uh, which you kind of have to with sick bays because otherwise patients can die, then you actually want to hire more than the bare minimum you of staff you require in order to ensure that it's, uh, uh, that each facility is managed well. But, you have to be careful with that because especially in later missions you can go a little crazy and over hire and kind of get yourself overextended and find yourself burning through money like you wouldn't believe. So, you have to sort of learn how to manage that stuff. Um, let's just drop a lamp over here. Another image projector. Actually helps people from getting bored when you do things like that, so. Hey, 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 where are you going? Don't you leave, you're still sick. More doctors are coming, just hold your horses. 
And this is the thing, right, is you can't force people to work and you can't set the hours for your employees, which I have a feeling is something that may have made it into, like, Startopia 2 had they done that. It must be said that you're making an excellent job of running this hospital. Oh, thank you. I didn't think an organic could be as good at such a tricky task. It'll be after my job next. Or no. not, seeing as I'm technically your servant. Hmm. Rebellious instinct there. So yeah, you can't force guys to work like you. Ooh, this guy's really skilled. Let's grab him. You can't be like, hey, let's, uh, you know, make these guys work overtime so that we don't get uh, we don't get too many dead patients. You've got to just sort of let them live their lives. Now you see that I've got the second facility going. Our cure patient count is going up crazy, like crazy. Off the back of a trolley. Yeah, there's a dispenser. Maybe we can get one in here. It might be a little tricky, but we'll try. Uh, I think I am going to put up another dino mat as well. So I think the one we have is a little uh, probably overextended, shall we say. Let's drop it. Uh... Actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's unpack this first and drop it in here. Unfortunately, I think this needs to go against a wall. So... Yeah, I think we just don't have the space for it. No. Uh, oop. There are eight other worlders with radiation poisoning on their way. We'd better move with this one. Okay. Well, let's drop that for now. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put the dino mat up here. So people can get some more eats on. Uh, this should, uh, should definitely help a little bit. And as you can see here, if your scuzzers are overoccupied, see how this facility is kind of gross looking now? There is a solar flare in progress. Shall you cured all the blastocephalus patients. For this, you oh, get nice. 15,000 energy bonus payment and their eternal rest. Nice. So you see this facility is looking pretty gross now, and that's basically because the scuzzers haven't been cleaning it up sufficiently. So we're going to put them over here. You can actually change scuzzer priorities at certain points if you need to. You can basically force them to work on building or cleaning or other things like that more quickly. Uh, but if you let especially medical facilities get dirty and grimy, people will start getting upset and not want to involve themselves with it as much. And, and if, you know, if you get health inspections and the like, you can get uh, start having some problems with that. So that's something you definitely want to be, you want to be careful of. So yeah, it doesn't look like I have uh, the space in here to put the dispensary up, which is kind of a bummer. Um, 70 patients have now been successfully treated only 30 more to go. Hooray! Uh, let's put a couple of benches out here too for people. Just make it a little nicer. Inspectors have arrived. Uh-oh. If the hospital facility Oops. is still dirty by the time they leave, we are in serious Didn't trouble. Didn't accept on that. You can see stuff's getting pretty, uh... The solar flare busy has ended. up here. Let's put a corridor lamp right out here. We've got money, so we might as well uh, we might as well spend it. Yeah. Put that there. Put one there. Make things look a little nicer. I don't know, Merrick. I don't know what that is. Uh, but let's do that, and yeah, let's get another Lavatron. So let's do a Lavatron. Looks like it's equipment for an area, so I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a sculpture, basically. Yeah, it's like a, a thing you put out, again, to just improve the area. That... Hmm. Rather curious how that's being held together, but, uh, yeah, why not, eh? Now, the only bummer, too, here is I don't believe I can change... I can pack up the, uh, the room, but I don't believe I can stretch it out anymore after it's been created. Which is kind of a pain, because I have this dispenser that I can't place in here. It would be really nice if I could do that. Uh, I might be able to do it... If I get rid of... Whoops. <laughs> that powers the facility down, which is uh, not something we, we want to do. Um, let's get this chair out of here. 
and see if we can. There we go. You have cured 80 patients. The excitement must be building in your mushy organic brain. It kind of is. A supervisor, you've received a warning from the health inspectors. Two more warnings, and you'll be thrown Oops. out. And I'll be so yeah, we we don't have enough scuzzers here, so they're not keeping up with the. Uh, you cured all the radiation victims. So nice. So we don't because of that we're getting we're getting smacked around a little bit because the super the uh, the health inspectors are like, hey, you know this looks friggin' disgusting. Now that we're not building so much, my hope is that they'll catch up uh, with the load. But the problem, of course, as well is, and this is why you have these charging stations, is that if your scuzzers are out and about too long, they'll actually run out of juice and they'll oh my god. Uh, they'll run out of juice and they'll stop where they are, so you want to make sure that doesn't happen as well. But unfortunately, I can't just build more scuzzers willy-nilly right now. You can later. Which is good. Alright, so we're out there, so let's, uh... Later parts of the game, unfortunately, there is a lot of this, having to manually pick up a lot of trash very quickly and just dump it into the recycler. If you do take too long, uh, if, uh, it is very hard to stay on top of this without more scuzzers, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, he doesn't have anything I want. Dude, for real, get some more scuzzers. I will pay top dollar for them at this stage. Alright. Hopefully get ahead of the curve a little bit more. Might need some more salt hogs too. I think the recycler is... As far as I know, you can... Uh, well, you can actually... Can, I don't think you can pile garbage into the recycler endlessly. You can you can put a lot of garbage in it, but if you take to... Uh, but it will pile up, and eventually... Uh, if you don't constantly have salt hogs reprocessing it, eventually it will outweigh the capacity of it. I do remember that that's possible. But I don't think we're really at risk of that in this mission. Uh, we're at 88 patients now, so I think we're going to be... Uh, hitting the end of this uh, episode pretty soon, so let's see how it goes. I really wish I just had the ability to build more trash cans, because that's part of the issue, especially up here, is that people don't have anywhere to put their garbage. Hold that track. What's in this room over here? But that's what they're asking in here. Your scuzzer droids by beaming up Val, junk and dropping it directly bro, shut it, will you? I am doing this already. God, such a freaking nag, isn't he? There. Yeesh. Yeah, since the scuzzer droids don't really have to build anything right now, I think they're they're more or less on top of this. Definitely could do some more lavatrons, though. That's these. The, the, the patients have now been cured. You're ten away from success. Wow, you're happy about that. Yeah, clearly stuff here is a little over, a uh, little overextended, but you get a lot more freedom in later missions. Like the way it's restricting me from building basic facilities. Don't take that to mean very much at this point. It you will get a lot more of it later on. Don't worry. It's not a not a huge 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 deal. So, really at this point, all uh, we can do is sort of wait things out and uh, just wait for this to finish constructing uh, what we need. So, or finish not even constructing what we need. Jeez, healing people. Sorry, it's been a long week. I'm kind of tired. Uh, we should be done in just a couple of minutes, actually. I don't think you have anything I really need. Okay, well, no, two litter bins, I'll actually take that, even at this late stage. They're both going up here, to be honest with you. I do kind of wish you could just unpack stuff directly out of the transporter and place it down. Like, the whole, um... You know, you have to pick the thing up, beam it down, then unpack it. Just seems like extra clicking for no real particular reason, if you ask me. But... Picking nits, really, but sometimes nits are worth picking. And really, if those are some of the worst things I can say about this there game, <laughs> does it matter much? Have arrived. The 
hospital okay. facility is still dirty. I know I screwed up last time, guys, but trust me, I learned from that, and uh, things have been better tuned. I think you're going to find the facility is in much better shape this time, so uh, please look around with confidence. I say that as I find a whole whack of garbage. A whole whack of garbage on the deck. Guys, listen, I just built two litter cans. Like, now you're just being lazy. Like, can you at least be semi-decent citizens? Like, ugh. God, people frustrate me. So that's the other thing. If you're just trying to impress inspectors like that, all you have to do is make sure the garbage is picked up. It doesn't have to be in here. If it's in your transporter buffer, it's not on the floor, which means the you know the place isn't bad, so you don't have much to worry about. We might even cure the remaining four patients by the time they uh, they bugger off here. So let's see. Cure faster! You cure faster! You're not working hard. wet shop hospital. I'll hire you too. <laughs> I know you're sick, so go get cured and then go cure some other people, would you? The solar flare has ended. Doing really well on the monies here. Stare at the uh, nice sculpture while you're at it. Oh, that guy's broke. Let's just brute force this. We got money. Just buy our way out, buy our way to a mission resolution, yeah? <sighs> Scuzzers are clearly not hanging out up here enough. Alright. 98! We almost there! We almost there, come on! No more illness. The health inspectors are impressed with the extreme. There we go. The hospital. Thank you. We don't really need the E, but uh, I'll take two more litter bins. Why not? Fell off the back of a trolley. I love he says fell off the back of a trolley. Like you know, yeah, trolleys in space. We did it. Hundred patients have been cured. The greys will be ecstatic. Hooray! Any emotions at all, that Down is. with disease. Still, I offer you my heartfelt metallic condition. Well, there we go, guys. I completed this level. I did think that you would be too screamish to deal with the illnesses of the frail, pulpy, and fragile life. I love how he says you have completed this level. Well. Let's see whether you're capable of performing as well for the TARG. They wish to speak to you about employment, you know. Oddly, uh, oddly self-aware there. Well, there you have it, guys. So that uh, was the Grey Council Hospital level of Startopia. So come back next time where we will dive into the Targ Collective. What are they going to want us to build? Who the heck knows? But I'm sure it'll be interesting. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. And, well, I'll see you in space next time. Take it easy.